You want a happy home? Keep your home clean, neat. Don't be lazy. Get up and clean after yourself. You get up in the morning, you make your bedding. You don't just throw your... No matter how rich you are, no matter how many servants you have in the home, you make your bedding. It's a sunnah. You see that? Some people, they just throw this that way, that way. The one shoe is in one corner and the other one, they have to look for it in the bathroom. <laughs> yes. And half your clothing is this way and that way. They just look at the room and you say, oh, it looks so romantic, right? <laughs> Not at all. You pick up the mess that you made that is part of the happiness of your own home. It's a sunnah. Don't just leave it. I heard a man say, that's the job for ladies. What did you just say? You must make the mess and they must clean up. Is that what Allah created them for? I have created women to clean up after the mess of men. A'udhu billah. There's no such verse. You have imposed that on yourself. You need to clean your place. You need to assist the family members to clean up the home. How many do that? I don't think we do it. And then we think, no, my father never ever did it. You think I'm going to do it? Subhanallah. Well, when your children watch you do it, they're going to say, my father used to do it. Right now, I'm going to do all of it. MashaAllah. May Allah make, it, make us happy. You know, in your home, it's not a match to try to prove who is the boss. It's not a match. We are all bosses of our home. It's our home. When people come in they, and they see such a dirty home, it reflects on the people of the home, all of them. They won't just blame one person, they blame all of you. Look at this house. We don't want to go into there again. Right? It happens. So learn to clean up. Allah loves those who are clean. You've made wudu, you've cleansed yourself. You went to the bathroom, you cleansed yourself. Why is it that if you enter a place where wudu is made, a lot of the times you find that people have not cleaned the place. It's dirty, it's filthy. Many times people wouldn't even want to go into there. Why is it that people who are Muslimin, supposed to be the cleanest of people, when they use the public facility to make their wudu or to use the toilet, because there is water being used, they make like they have a license to actually throw the water all over the show and it's so dirty because the feet, are all, the, the shoes are all on that water and the water becomes dirty and it looks so ugly and it begins to smell and those are Muslims and that's the facility used by those whom Allah says He loves those who are very clean from amongst you. Will you make a difference? When you use a facility again, when you use a facility again, again, Clean up. Make sure it is left as you found it. Or better. But not worse. Allah says He loves those who are clean. That includes your words. Do you say clean words or dirty words? You want a happy home. Allah says I love those who are clean.